Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, we're checking out the Benson Germanium Fuzz. <laughs> The Germanium Fuzz from Benson Amps is a take on a classic circuit, so it has its roots and its sound in that vintage fuzz space sound. So it's a pretty simple pedal. Let's go ahead and plug it in now. And this brings me to one point that I really wanted to mention in this video is that the pedal, the Germanium Fuzz, actually takes a few seconds or a few minutes to warm up. So it's kind of splatty, it doesn't really work on all of your playing, but that's just because it's warming up inside the pedal. It actually controls its own temperature to make sure that germanium transistor inside is sitting at the optimal temperature, which means it sounds its best. Because in those old fuzz faces, germanium transistors can vary in sound wildly when they are too hot or too cold. So. The technology inside the Benson Germanium Fuzz allows it to regulate the temperature of that transistor so you always get a consistent sound after it's been warmed up. And you can see right here the LED is actually yellow and what it does is when it turns to green it's at its optimum temperature so it's it's another way of indicating when it's going to be ready. Now you can play it when it's yellow and throughout the video you'll see it switch from yellow to green on me and just because it's yellow doesn't mean it's not going to sound good or work you know it's just letting you know that it is in its optimum temperature when the led is green so let's go ahead i've been talking too much let's go ahead plug the guitar in pedals on now it's all warmed up so let's go ahead and explore the controls we have the volume control right here turn it up to get louder sounds turn it down to get quieter sounds <laughs> So moving on from volume control, we have the gain control right below it. And the gain control and the impedance control actually work together. They're really interactive, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep through the gain control, which introduces more or less gain. I just rolled off my volume and that actually brings me to another point. With older fuzz faces, with the fuzz face circuit, you can actually get a lot of cleanup from rolling back the volume on your guitar. And that is not lost on the Benson Germanium fuzz. So that's it full. That's at about half. And then we're at like three. Now, another problem with the vintage fuzz space circuit is that the pedal wanted to see a specific input impedance, and that's really just coming straight from your guitar. So, running into other pedals before old fuzz faces generally caused some disagreements between the pedals, and they wouldn't sound their best. So, what Benson Amps has done is actually put a buffer that simulates 
a pickup from a guitar in the front of the germanium fuzz, so now you can put it anywhere on your pedal board, in front of or behind other pedals, anywhere in your signal chain, and it's gonna work great without having to, to worry about where you place it in your signal chain. So that brings us to the impedance knob, which actually emulates sort of like rolling your volume back on your guitar. So in those older fuzz faces, in the fuzz face circuit in general, as you roll your volume back, you of course clean the guitar signal up so you're getting less fuzz and less breakup, but you're also brightening the guitar signal up. So like as you roll your volume down, you actually get more high end and less low end. So you get like this really bright, brilliant sound as you roll your volume down. And the impedance knob on the Benson Fuzz simulates that inside the pedal without actually having to roll your volume down and lose, lose output volume. <laughs> When you turn the impedance up, when you're adding more high-end sparkle to the sound, you actually get less gain. And that's where those the gain and impedance control work together. So if you want the most gain out of the pedal, you'll want to keep lower impedance settings. Because like right now, all I'll do is turn the impedance down. So right now we're, we're pretty clean. And all I did there was I just turned the impedance down. I didn't even touch the gain, but as you could hear, we actually got more gain with those lower impedance settings. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds with a lower output pickup like my Jazzmaster. <laughs> You can hear we're not getting as much gain as we did out of the SG because it has hotter humbucker pickups, so it's driving the circuit harder. Let's hear how it sounds with the impedance turned all the way down, gained all the way up. We're on both pickups. So one thing you could do in that situation, if you want a more gain out of the pedal, since Benson has put the, the buffer impedance magic, we'll call it voodoo, um, since they put that voodoo in the front of the pedal, you can actually put a boost pedal before it to boost your signal going into the Benson germanium fuzz to get more gain out of the circuit. <laughs> Thank you.
So I've got my base plugged into the germanium fuzz now. We're running still into the Rocket Retro. I didn't change any settings on the amp. So I've got the impedance up pretty high on this, which means it's gonna be brighter, it's gonna have less gain overall, so I kinda of want to roll that impedance down maybe halfway. Yeah, you can hear that we're getting, we're starting to get some more snarl and gain in there. Let's go ahead and hear just the, the bridge pickup. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Benson Germanium Fuzz. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out all the other gear demos and instructional videos I have here. Also, I wanna send a huge shout out to these folks right over here who are my executive producers for my Patreon page. I really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much to my Patreon fam. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you in the next video.